Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So this video is going to show you one of our new special TRW True Type fonts. And this is our Zebra Block HTV font. So as you can see, we're going to show you exactly how to make this design right here in just a few minutes. So it's a custom Lakewood Ranch baseball mom of number six design. So we're going to show you how to do this and how easy it is with our new true type font that we have. So we have this font available on the website at the rhinestoneworld.com and what it is, it's going to allow you to be able to layer the glitter vinyl as well as all of your other heat transfer vinyls because the way that we set up the font with the uppercase and lowercase. So let's walk you through it and show you how it's done. So Here's, we're going to go ahead and click on our font here, and we're going to type out whatever word we want. So let's say we want baseball, and then we're going to enlarge the baseball a little bit, and we have the true type font installed in our library, so we're going to click on our TRW uh, Zebra Block HTV font. So as you can see, it pulled up right there, and now that's the uppercase version of it. So you can see the outline, you can see how it's spaced out and, and spelt all correctly and everything. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to throw a custom name on top as well. So you can use any font you have in your font library for this because it just needs to be able to be converted to curves and cut on your cutter, whichever cutter you have. So let's just pull a standard font that we have on in our font library here and let's do maybe a college type font. So we're going to pull our college font here and we have Lakewood Ranch. Now this is a custom design that a customer comes in and they want made and say, can you make a special shirt for me? And I want it glittery and I want it to say Lakewood Ranch Baseball uh, Mom of number three or number six. And normally that was something that would take a process to do and take a while. Well, with this new font that we've developed to be able to give you that zebra look and be able to layer the glitter vinyl because you can't layer it right on top of each other, you can do this in literally a few minutes. So we just typed in the mom of number three part of the design there. Now what we need to do is we need to get the second color of our actual baseball zebra part of the design. So I'm going to control C and then control V or you can just drag it and right click and that's going to make a copy of it. Now I'm going to highlight it and do it in lowercase and then it's going to type it out with the other part of the zebra font. So you'll see it looks similar, but it's not the exact same. It's the exact same size, but what it does is it makes it so it lines up perfectly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this around because we want our colors a little different. We're gonna do it all in the glitter silver vinyl for the Lakewood Ranch and the inside of the zebra and the mom of number three. And then on the bottom, we're gonna do that in our green grass glitter vinyl. So we're gonna go ahead and mirror our object and then we converted it to curves. So we went object, arrange and convert to curves. Now we're gonna bring it over to just a random program. Let's bring it into Cut Studio. So we went ahead and brought this into Cut Studio and now we have it all split apart to be able to do our two different cuts. So it's already mirrored, it's already ready to go. So all we need to do is break it apart and we're going to go ahead and highlight it. We get that down into the section that we want. And first one we're going to do is let's do the silver and then we have the green the green grass glitter. So we're going to cut it here on our GX24 and we're going to cut the silver first. So let's hit okay. And this is the silver cutting here. Now with this glitter here, what we're at, we're actually using our 65 degree clean clean cut blade on this, the, the more angle on the blade, the 65 degree blade with the glitter just seems to cut a little bit better for us. You can use the 45 degree blade as well. The 65 degree blade just seems to get through the glitter a lot easier and gives us an easier time weeding it. So now we're going to pull off our other part of the design and we're going to cut this in our green grass glitter that we have available on the website at therhinestoneworld.com. So let's go ahead and cut the green here. And the great part about the glitter heat transfer vinyls that we sell on the website is it's a hot or a cold peel. So it's going to speed up your process a lot because you don't have to wait for it to cool down and set it off to the side or press it up against a glass or anything to get it to cool down to peel it off. It's press and go. So 
you hit that first one for five, six seconds when you're doing a two layer, pull it off right away, layer the second one on top, pull it off right away and it, the shirt's done. You don't have to set it off to the side and do it later at all. Now the great part about this glitter is you can actually see some cut lines where with a lot of glitters out there you can't really see the cut line and then you also have an issue with weeding. So we're weeding with our bling exacto knife here and as you can see when we pull it how easy it is to weed this. So there are a lot of glitter vinyls that are difficult to weed and we've, we've dealt with pretty much all of them. We've tested all the different glitter vinyls and this is very easy to weed. That's why we actually do show it in the videos as far as weeding it to be able to see the cut lines. And the great part about having the boxes around it is it actually gives you more cut lines to be able to see. So it kind of does a contour around each letter, which makes it a little bit easier for you to see when you're weeding. So as you can see, we're pulling off all the letters here, very easy. And again, this is our green grass glitter vinyl. We also have an emerald green on the website. So we have a couple different colors. Um, we do have about, I think around 12 to 15 different colors of the glitter vinyl on the website now. A lot of you have been waiting for the black and the silver red, the black silver to get in. So we do have those available on the website now as well at the rhinestoneworld.com. So now what we're doing is we're pulling off the inside part of the zebra. So the part we're pulling off here was that second part that you typed out. So that's the part that's gonna fill in perfectly with our second color, which was the silver. And the hard part about it with this design and the way that we designed it is you can't layer the glitters directly on top of each other, but you also don't wanna have the shirt showing through in those little spots if you don't line it up perfectly. So there is a tiny little contour overlay that makes it so you have a little bit of wiggle room for when you're applying the vinyl and um, pressing that second color on the design. So as you can see, this does weed very easy right here. We're just pulling them up very simple. And let's show you what it looks like when we're done weeding it here. So this glitter vinyl has some great glitter to it. So some let's go ahead and shine weed the glitter part of out. So again, as you can see, we're just pulling it here. Obviously you have to be careful with any heat transfer vinyls or regular vinyls. You know that letters can pull up every once in a while. So you still wanna be careful when you're weeding it. But as you can see, as we give little tugs here, it is coming off very easy. We aren't having to worry about the letters pulling up. I mean, obviously we're paying attention to make sure they don't pull up. But when you get your settings right on your cutter and cut it right, you can see how easily this glitter vinyl weeds. And obviously you can see the glitter on it on the back side right there when we're pulling it off. And then again, we have the inside of all the letters, obviously. So you gotta pull those little A's out inside the O's and the D's and the R's. And so you always have those little spots. That's why we always like to use, a lot of people use the pick tool. We always like to use an X-Acto knife just because it does have a nice sharp point, but then we can also use it to cut off different spots if we want or cut the, the Mylar film or, or do anything we want with the X-Acto knife. So it just gives us a little more options as far as the tool right there that we have. And it's rhinestoned out, so that looks good too. So now this is the part where you do need to be careful with because you're pulling off little inside parts of the vinyl. So you aren't necessarily going to see a perfect letter like you did on the last part because this is just the inside fill parts of the zebra print. So you do need to be careful when you're pulling these out. When you do pull them out, I do recommend that you just keep them off to the side because if it does happen and you notice that you did miss a little spot, then you can always go back and just grab it later because the the um, mylar backing has a sticky tack to it. You can actually just go back and grab it off of what you weed it off and stick it on later. So it's not a big issue if you do miss a little spot, but obviously you don't want to miss a little spot because then the shirt will show through. So just instead of throwing it directly in the trash, just keep it off to the side in case you did miss one little spot because you're not really looking at a specific design here. It's a zebra print so you, and it's very random where the spots are so sometimes it's kind of hard to see exactly what you're weeding as far as knowing like a letter as far as spelling it out and saying oh I'm missing an O here it's hard to see if you're missing a little part of a print so there's what our finished print looks like for this and we actually noticed that we missed um, this is actually for a mom in a shirt and we noticed 
that we did the wrong number. We put the number three on and it's actually the number six. So again, very easy to do. You get a little bonus in this video, show you how to fix it. All we did was cut out a number six. We used our X-Acto knife and trimmed down the number six right here and watch what we're gonna do. We're just gonna place the number six right where that number three was. So let's just go ahead and press it, place it right next to that number sign right there. You obviously want to make sure it's not overlapping the number sign at all. Place it right there and we're good to go. We just made that switch in a couple seconds and now it is perfect Lakewood Ranch baseball mom of number six. So let's go ahead and press this shirt and see what it looks like. All right, we're over here at our heat press now and we got our two colors. We're going to go ahead and do the silver glitter first. And we are at 320 degrees on our heat press. We're going to have firm pressure and you have a hot peel on this as well. So because it's two layers, we're just going to hit this first layer for about five or six seconds. And that's just going to get a nice tack to the shirt or your garment. And as you can see, peel it off right away and it's going to just peel off perfectly like butter. So we're done with the first part of our design here. Now let's go ahead and get our green grass glitter. And we're going to go ahead and layer that. And just depending on, you do need to make sure that none of the shirt is showing through. So sometimes you might have to push the shirt a little bit in different spots just to make sure that it's lined up perfectly. And then we do have some of the glitter that is exposed from our first press. So we do want to put our cover sheet on. And now we're going to press it for our full time here. And that's going to get a good adhesion on both of the colors here so let's go ahead and pull off our cover sheet and again we'll get this off here pulls off like butter and you are completely done with this design so amazing how easy a great looking design like this and the glitter vinyl was to be able to layer it so I hope this video helped you out again we do have all of the glitter vinyl available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696 or shoot us an email at info at the rhinestoneworld.com. So we will be coming out with different true type fonts. We also have our new rhinestone true type fonts that also have the sticky flock version of it. So make sure to give us a call if you do have any questions. Again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.